all right guys welcome to the channel today it's an interesting topic uh, it's used electric cars on a budget i know there are a lot of videos out how the electric cars works and uh, which one is uh, good to buy and all that i'm not going to talk about uh, very specific uh, how they work i'm just going to talk about what you can get for your money because now it's a good moment to buy an AV. Uh, it's the late 2020. A few, I mean, a lot of EVs now are on the used market. If you are a bit skeptical with parking your petrol car and uh, uh, buying an EV just to try it, it's okay to do it with a low budget. Um, that's how we started as well here. And we live in Norway. Uh, and for the last five years we only drive electric and we just love it so if, if you are skeptical start small um, you're going to be very surprised about uh, how the cost going to go down how it's pleasant to drive and you have to be honest in the future uh, the city is going to be uh, taxing more uh, to enter with the petrol car the government gonna tax the petrol cars more. Uh, the petrol gonna go up. I mean, they are under pressure to get down their CO2. CO2. So uh, anyway, what's gonna happen is that we have to be able to drive with energy that's not coming from dinosaurs, right? In no way we are lucky. Like I said, we have uh, wind and we have water, 100% uh, clean energy. Uh, but in other countries coming as well. So I'm going to show you what you can get for your money for between 5,000 and 20,000 euros. So you can start on a small budget uh, to have a second uh, car uh, as an EV or just to um, park your petrol car or sell it and drive 100% EV. So let's see what you can get for your money. All right, guys, then we are back to go over the list. So when I'm talking about uh, cars, uh, I want to specify that I'm talking about cars that you can use all year round with the proper ABS and the proper uh, traction control and, and DAB radio if you want. So uh, these micro cars and like the Twizy and stuff like that, they are not cars for me using all year round, right? So. The cheapest EV you can buy for your money in 2020 between five and seven thousand euros is the triplets. I mean the iMeV from Mitsubishi, the Citroen C0 and the Peugeot Ion. They're all 16 kilowatt hours uh, battery package with a range between 80 and 125 kilometers. And that I, then I mean winter, summer, right? Best conditions. Um, the IME is a very reliable little car. We had it for six years almost and uh, 60,000 kilometers. We never have issues. So uh, I'm going to drive this thing until we have to throw it in the garbage, I think, because we just like it so much. In this price range between five and 7,000 euros, you get the Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf, it came in 2011, 24 hour kilowatt package. Um, don't buy the first generation buy the second generation from 2013 with uh, 100 upgrades um, is the same power in the engine but has 25 percent more range and now you can get 100 to 140 kilometer range um, those are the two cars i would recommend between the five and the seven thousand euros or on the lowest level of course you can buy maybe an uh, imeev uh, i saw one for sale now for three and a half thousand euros 2012 model with high mileage and all that stuff i mean you buy a car you have to use right not you have to be afraid of that is uh, maybe not working so but uh, between five and seven thousand uh, euros you get uh, 2014 2015 models from seven thousand 
to 10,000 euros, some other cars are coming in that price level. Of course, for that price, you get a better IMEV and a better leaf and stuff like that. But I wouldn't buy a IMEV over seven, eight thousand euros because then other cars are coming that I find more, more car. So here we have the Renault Zoe. The Renault Zoe, it's a very nice car. I was surprised in the beginning. I didn't like it when I drive drew it first, like three years ago. But now we bought one. And uh, it's very roomy in the front and it's, it feels really good built. Uh, so I was very surprised. But you have different types. You have the Renault Zoe 210, that's the NEDC number. Uh, and you have the Zoe 240 with a bit longer range. So the Renault Zoe, you can't fast charge 50 kilowatt like the Leaf and the iMeef, but you can semi charge 22 kilowatt hour. So it just means it goes half the speed than the two other ones. But uh, like my iMeef uh, with the 16 kilowatt hour battery, if that gets 50 kilowatt in from the fast charger, I don't need to charge so long. So it said itself, um, the Zoe with the 22 kilowatt hour battery, and you get only 22 kilowatt in. And in perfect condition, you should uh, do it in one hour. In the winter, you maybe take two hours because the battery and the charging go much slower. In the same price, seven to 10,000 euros, the Volkswagen E-Up, it's coming up. Very nice little car, very Volkswagen, very good quality. It's a bit, uh, how to say, a bit German, conservative, but it works. 18.7 kilowatt hours battery goes between 90 and 120 kilometers. Very popular, not so many issues. Uh, four seater. So then you have uh, the Smart 4 2 for Mercedes. It's a good car. Uh, 17 kilowatt hour battery with a range between 100 and 140 kilometers. Only semi charged 22 kilowatt hour battery. Very good, but only two seater. The Ford Focus 23 kilowatt hour battery with a range between 100 and 150 kilometers and only semi charge is a very, very bad buy because it costs quite a lot when new and it's a petrol car that just they tried to make an electric car and I think they did it on a Friday afternoon, three o'clock, just before the weekend because the trunk, the trunk in the back is uh, half the size because of the battery. I, they, they just it's a big lump you can't use the trunk properly and you can't fast charge it and all that stuff so hey they did really a shitty job in 2017 though they fix it with a 33 kilowatt hour battery and a fast charger uh, dc possibility much better more expensive so those are the cars that i uh, suggest between seven and the 10,000 euros, you have the Leaf still. Uh, you don't have the triplets anymore. You have the Renault Zoe, the 22 kilowatt hour battery. You have the Volkswagen e up the Smart for two, and uh, that's it. From 10,000 to 15,000 euros, a lot are happening there. So there you get the Nissan Leaf. And there you get really the, the first um 2015 nissan leaf 30 kilowatt hours battery uh in the beginning they said this car can do 250 kilometers with any dc it just was wrong the wltp is a new cyclist and uh, then it's only uh 210 so we had one like that very good car very reliable a lot of car for your money and uh, the leaf do 140 in the winter max and 190 max in the summer. The Kia Soul is also coming in the price range between the 12,000 to the 15,000 euros. It starts there. Uh, 24 to 7, 27 kilowatt hour battery, 110 to 160 kilometers. The Kia Soul is extremely roomy inside. The, the, the trunk is not so big, but my God, so much space and you sit higher and you have a nice, uh, uh, overlook good quality very special look but I like it um, 
I almost bought one uh, but this one can fast charge and Kia has seven years car warranty most electric cars they have eight years battery guarantee but the car themselves it's a five years or a hundred thousand kilometer warranty so uh, the Kia Soul is a very good car the e-golf 24 hour kilowatt battery 120 270 range kilometers it's a very good car but again like the e up very conservative uh, it's it's really a petrol car like the e up that they made electric so it keeps its value very good it's good build quality uh, but it's it doesn't trick me really like an ev because i like when the evs are built to be ev and nothing else not petrol cars that are built to be uh, evs so in that price tag you get as well the bmw i3 the 60 amps um, with the 100 to 140 kilometers range fantastic little car it were very funny with this uh, suicide doors in the back so uh, i i i like that car but for us at home uh, it's not really practical because you have to open the front door before you can open the back door and with the kids uh, the kids going in and out so uh, but the car is carbon and plastic so it doesn't rust only the brakes so the best car if you would ask me in the 13 14 15000 euro range is the BMW i3 most technology most advanced technology uh it's a very sophisticated car in the range around 15,000 euros you get as well the zoe 40. the zoe 40 it's a special car it's still semi-charged doesn't charge so fast when you're on a trip but we bought it because this little thing can do over 300 kilometers in the summer and in the winter minimum 200. so uh we go a lot to the cabin in the mountains here that it's 100 km away with elevation so you use a lot of power and uh, we needed a car to to get there properly so uh, my wife she bought herself a Renault Zoe the smart 44 uh, from smart four seater it's a very nice car with only semi charge with a range between 100 and 140 kilometers uh, and here you can get a pretty new car for 450,000. You can get a 2018 model, two years old. Um, the Mercedes Benz B Class is a nice car, but it has uh, some issues, so I wouldn't buy it. it has also, also only semi charge, but very roomy car, very nice car, but I didn't buy it because uh, it was a bit too much issue with the battery and the. Uh, and the uh, drive unit that's from Tesla. Over 15,000 euros, you get the Ionic 28 kilowatt battery with a range between 170 and 240 kilometers, possibly DC charge 50 kilowatt. Very nice car. The newer Zoe, uh, it's still over 20,000, but still you get a very good uh, Zoe, Renault Zoe. Uh, with the 41 kilowatt hour battery very nice and here as well the bmw i3 but done the 90 amps that's a 33 kilowatt hour battery that does 170 to 230 kilometers uh, that's the cars i would recommend in that price tag price which car you want the best thing i can say try them drive them enjoy them give your thumbs up uh, like uh, the video and please uh, subscribe because uh, it helps us to grow. See you next time.